I check out there to all my viewers on YouTube. <clears throat> I actually got a video uh, message today from a gentleman asking me to do a video on Palo Mayombe. Um, I want to let you guys know a little bit about Palo Mayombe from the best of my ability. I am not a scholar, but from what I have studied and from the paleros that I have studied with, <clears throat> Palo Mayombe is claimed to be a monotheistic religion as well as just like Ifa or Santeria, they have the belief of one God, which is in Sambi, and um, in Sambi, there's spirits under in Sambi, just like in Ifa or Santeria, you know, and <clears throat> it's very similar, you know, to the religion, you know. They have Zarabanda, Zarabandas, you know, people who are initiated into Santeria and Palo Mayombe, they say that it's very similar, you know, like Zarabanda is the god of, oh, god of war, Siete Rayos is the god of thunder, Lucero Viramundo is just like Ilegua. They, they say that it's very much similar, but I can't say because I'm not a palero. But Palo Mayombe is actually... <clears throat> A religion based on the muerto. Um, a lot of Cuban Lukumi based people have the belief system that one should be initiated in a Palo Mayombe first, then be initiated into Santeria, then be initiated into Ifa. They believe that you should be, It's a, they say it's a form of foundation. You have to start with the muerto. Then you start with the Santo, and then you start with, I then last, Ifa tops it, you know. Palo Mayombe, oh, the word palo is a Spanish word that means stick. Um, and to be a palero is somebody who works with sticks, a palero. So, you know, and when somebody were to receive the rayamento, that is the, the initiation into Palo Mayombe. They are what's called an ingeyo. They are not tata, inganga, uh, you know, nothing. Uh, the word tata is like father, you know. So when you become tata inganga, you re it means you received your inganga. And your inganga or a prenda is what your muerto is. You know, like if you're a son of Siete Rayos, a son of Zarabanda. It's very similar to Ifa. If you were to go into a house of Palo... They would do a reading on you. They would find out who your who your inquisi is, who your spirit is. If you're a son of Zarabanda, Siete Rayos, Madre de Agua, Lucero Viramunda, Lucero Viramundo, Gurufinda, you know, whatever your santo is, then that is the inganga you will receive. But it takes a long time to learn, you know, because Palo Mayombe is... Very, very sincere. A lot of paleros are very sincere in their religion too. You have to learn the yervas. You have to learn the palos. You have to learn the firmas. It's a very, very intense religion. Now, I did a video the other day. I don't know if it got published or not. Oh, excuse me. I just got a bad pain in my back. But um, I don't know if it got published or not. But Palo Mayombe is a very, for, very dark form of the religion. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that all paleros are doing dark magic no you can do dark and you can do light as a palero but the pretty much the basis of palo mayombe is the muerto you know it's all a, you know when you get scratched you know it, it's a long process you know it's a three-day process you sleep in front of the inganga of the some don't do it no more where you sleep in front of the inganga some say no it's old-fashioned Whatever, more traditional houses say, yeah, you have to sleep in front of the Nganga. So, you know, but for the most part, Palo Mayombe is not much different from the religion of Santeria or Ifa. It is just that they um, are, they do, di they believe in a different pantheon of deities, you know. So I hope that answers a little bit more of your questions. Um, it's not very common to find, a, you know, I actually know a good palero, so, you know, who does not charge a lot. He gives people very good deals. You get the rayamento, and you'll get a lucero with your rayamento. And then if you want to get the inganga, you know, it's not that much more either. I know people who try to charge $5,000 for a rayamento and the inganga. 
you know, it's crazy. And then they say, okay, bye-bye, now you're initiated, go on your own. And when you call them for help, they're like, oh, I'm busy, I call me tomorrow. You know, you need to make sure, just like in Ifa, you get somebody who is good and who is going to help you. It's the main important thing in Ifa, Palo Santeria. You need a good teacher. Without a good teacher, you're, it's going to be really hard. You're, you still can succeed, but it's going to be just as just as much just that much harder for you so if you're interested in getting learning about Paulo Mayombe let me know and I'll refer you to the perfect guy who is a very up forward he's been a palero for 24 years now he's from Florida and he will take care of you good 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 Ache and uh, Boruboya to all my viewers on YouTube